What's up guys, today I'm not only going to show you how to start streaming onto TikTok, but how to get an insane streaming layout just like this one right here. Um, before we get started, I'd like to say please subscribe, so hopefully I get monetized at some point, and um, I can get a better setup because we are poverty. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, before we get into all the details, there are, first there are some requirements. The first requirement is that you must at least have like a thousand followers there is some like get around if you apply for it and you somehow get live access but it's better to just get a thousand followers and if you're not at a thousand followers yet there is some like cheeky ways to get there if you go on tiktok and type like follow for follow teamwork challenge you can like like people's comments and they'll follow you you can just do that for a few days and if you just do it a bunch, like three days, you'll be there at a thousand followers, starting from zero. And then the next requirement is that your account must be 18 years old. Um, if your account is not 18 years old, like, what are you doing? Like, but if your account's not 18 years old and you want to start streaming on it, go grab your mom's ID, bro, and send TikTok a picture, report it as a problem that you picked the wrong age, and you'll get your account above 18 you can start streaming on it all right now let's get into it all right first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to download tiktok live studio this is tiktok's own live like recording thing and um you can just type in your like browser just type um tiktok live studio download it'll pop up if not i'll just put it in a link down below in the freaking description but yeah so you want to go ahead and download this and put it on your your pc your laptop whatever all right once you have it downloaded you want to go and open that baby up you're going to want to log into your tiktok account go ahead and just like scan the qr code to be honest let me go ahead and... all right once you get in you're gonna have everything here and let's just get a little a little run through real quick all right um all right so i already have a lot of my scenes already like how i want to have them then the scenes is basically like all your different like overlays or layouts so i have one from like my rocket league i have one for minecraft i have one for siege one for repo and yeah so we're gonna go ahead and go to a blank one and tiktok live studio already does have a lot of like sources and like overlays that you can use but their overlays are actually trash so first thing you're gonna want you're gonna want a Display capture as one of your things. This is your actual gaming. And then you're gonna, if you do show your face, you're gonna want your face cam. It's a lot better to have a camera showing your face just because, um, make a connection with your viewers. And yeah, people love to see your face. So you're gonna add that. I'm gonna add, since I'm already recording on OBS, I'm gonna have to add my OBS virtual camera. But you should just add your normal webcam that you use. But there, there I am. Wait, there's two of me. Wait. All right. Um. So yeah, that's practically all you do need to start, like your actual streaming. You have like whatever you want your game to be. So your display, your display capture captures your whole screen. So if you don't want to, if you want to capture something like specifically, there's a window capture, which I would prefer to use actually. This is gonna open <laughs> this. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of our display capture and use the uh, window capture instead. And you, how you want to format this is you're going to want to fill the space, whatever game you're playing. See, it is, it is preference, but I think most viewers would like to see it in this exact layout, having this be your gaming, this being your webcam. And then you can also do a lot of things with... Um, you can add like text to your things and there's these widgets which are just like overlays but we're not going to use those okay we're going to use something called tick finning this is what every big streamer on tiktok uses so you're going to want to download tick finity right now all right go ahead and type tick finity download go ahead and open tick finity you have to go to the actual tick finity thing and then download it once you open tick finity at the very top, there's going to be get the free Tickfinity desktop app for Windows. Go ahead and download that bad boy and open that up. I will also put the link for this in the description down below. All right, open up Tickfinity. 
and this is where the magic happens. They have so many different things you can add onto your streams for free. There's also a paid version, which just use the free version unless you have like a lot of viewers, you're making a lot of money. At that point, it's probably worth it to get the premium version. When you get into Tickfinity, go to setup, go ahead and type your TikTok username in and you'll connect your account. They have all these other different things. Um, this is the Tickfinity Pro. Uh, you don't need it, but it could be worth it in the long run for your have. All right, next we're gonna go to the overlay gallery. There's so many overlays. You can customize your stream however you would like, but if you wanna customize it, just like I do, I'm gonna show you how. All right, first, one of the top things I like, I love doing the top gifters and the top liker leaderboard. This gives people like motivation, give them like a reason to like your live, give them a reason to gift, cause they like love the leaderboards. They love them, but you can customize these. And I'm, I like to change the font, change the, like the color, just make it look nice. You can make it look however you want. This is how I do, I use the luckiest guy font. It's pretty fire. Do the same thing for top like or top gifters as well. Change the font, change the, change everything. And it'll be looking fire. All right. Well, that's how you customize those. And then to get these on to your actual streaming, get it on your overlay. You just need to copy this URL right here. Go back to TikTok Live Studio, add source. Um, do you want to go ahead and click link? Add. Go ahead and just paste that in. Add source. And then... This is, this is it right here. See, it's not pop. You don't see anything right now. It's because um, you're not live right now, but you can still test it. If you click test, it'll pop up for a few seconds. You can see it. You can make it bigger. I like to crop it just so I only show the top three. Be good. And then I just have it be that. And you can put it wherever you want. I like to put it for gifters, I put them, put it like right there. And then do the same thing for top liker. I do top three liker. And I usually put this one right there. And now I'll show you some more overlays you can do. There's goal overlays. I like to use these a lot. I have a light goal and I also have the coins or coins earned goal. Just, uh, you can do the other ones if you like, but these are just the two I use all the time. So go ahead, I'm trying to use this one for now. Depends on the stream, if I want to have the light goal or the coin goal. And then let's go back to add the source. Link it. Paste that in. And this will be here. You probably want to go ahead and crop. Just so it's not taking up that much room. And I usually put it right there. Yeah, I also customize this one a lot. I say pour water on head once we reach 50k likes. And yeah, you can customize this however you want. This is where you change the title and the goal. All right, now those are the overlays. Now, if you want to you add sounds or like pictures or things that pop up when someone follows or subscribes or sends a certain GIF, you want to go to actions and events on Tickfinity. You have five free actions with just default tickfinity if you want more actions you're gonna need tickfinity pro let's go ahead and check one of these out in action all right so there's an animation thing i don't mess with that uh there's the show picture slash gif so you can select file for any picture or any gif you want to pop up when someone follows or gifs or something there's audio and you can there's a free sound library where you can add any sound from here all right but yeah you can add any of those uh right now i'm using the vine boom for this one uh there's a show alert plus uh it says the username and the text so the username will pop up and it will say this is the text so say follow dennis champ because this is my rock league one and then you can also change colors of certain stuff you can make font make, i always make it luckiest guy and yeah and there's a bunch of other things you can mess with like it can do the TTS for that certain thing if you really wanted to. Uh, and then there's a, I don't mess with any of this stuff. You can if you want. There's a display duration. 
which is how long it's going to be on the screen or play the sound. So I just do two seconds for following. You can make it longer or shorter if you want. And then there's also that does the sound volume. So you don't have that thing blasting. And then everything that's just default should just be good. Um, so yeah, go ahead and customize that however you want. And then for gifts and subscribes, I have them under the same thing. So I have a picture that shows up. I have a sound. It says is the goat. I display this one for seven seconds and then repeat with gift combos. It's because when gifting, like if someone gifts like a bunch, it will only play it once, but this would play it multiple times. The action is what like does the specific thing while the events is what triggers it. If you know what I mean. So yeah, who is able to trigger this event? If everyone what will be triggered. What will the event be triggered by? And for this one is sending a GIF with a minimum coin value. So the minimum coin value is 100 for this one. And then you search, select which one you want it to trigger. And this one does the subscriber um, action. Uh, and then yeah, and then it'll be good. And then for my follow, since I have it show a random one each time, this is a fun thing. It will trigger one of these actions on random, which is pretty cool. And so yeah. And now once you have all this done, what, if you want to get this onto your actual streaming layout, you want to go down to screen one, copy that link, and then you go ahead and back to your TikTok live studio. Go ahead and add it just like everything else. And then it'll pop up. It'll just be invisible for now. If you want to test what it looks like, you can go to Pickfinity. This will simulate what you want it to be. So it'll follow. It'll pop up. You gotta quick. You gotta be quick. All right, but yeah. You now have your full streaming setup completed. But now, before you you go ahead and click go live, but you won't go live yet. Before you go live, if you're doing gaming, make sure you have the topic as gaming, or if you choose one of these other ones it will zoom in your stream and it will mess up your overlay so make sure you click gaming if you are doing gaming of course and then click what game you want to do this will be specific to people's for you page so if someone really likes rocket league it's gonna and you have your thing your topic is rocket league it's gonna go on to rocket league people's for you page but yeah go ahead and make a title i do mention you just to trick people into clicking on the stream <laughs> is that bad maybe i don't know um, if you have problems with sound, you can go to the audio mixer. This is where you connect your microphone, connect your speaker, like your headphones and such. But yeah, um, once you go live, you're going to have a chat overlay pop up onto your screen. Then you can put that wherever you want. You can change the size of it. But if you are on PC, you can put it on a different monitor and be fine. And you can full screen that game you're playing on an your other monitor but if you're on laptop like me i have my games in windowed so like the, the vi actual game is like a windowed thing so it's not full screened and then i also have my chat on the top right if you don't um have your thing windowed the chat like overlay will be covered up by your full screen game and you won't be able to read chat unless you have your phone right next to you and you pull up your tiktok stream but you must be on an alt account to watch your own stream just because you can't join your own live off of your account on t to join the account that's already streaming. Yeah, I don't know, to be honest. It's weird. You got to be on an alt account to watch your own stream and like look at the chat and stuff from your phone. And then one more thing, you have the tools, which you're going to probably want to use when you actually like do your stream. This is where you can make your live goal. You can do co-hosts and multi-guests. You can do play together, guessing game, all these random stuff. I recommend just doing your live goal, set it up to what you want, to what you want your your goal to be. Right now, mine is it's supposed to be two galaxies, but I don't know what it is to be honest. And then you'll see your gift gallery. I don't I'm not sure. I'm not even sure what the gift gallery is, but we're we're getting it done. And then there's also, uh, once you have your subs unlocked, so you can start getting subscribers, 
there's a sub goal. This is where you want to do that at. Oh, I just leaked my revenue. This is my current subscribers. <laughs> uh but yeah it, and then they're down there's a subscription goal join the evaden fam so yeah you're gonna want to set the goal to freaking whatever and this will pop up on your actual tiktok stream really recommend doing it but but yeah but yeah it's a lot of customization takes a lot of time but it's worth it in the long run if you're taking streaming serious um, I really like streaming on TikTok just because of the audience reach compared to other streaming platforms and also the gifting because people are so much more likely to gift people to gift you streaming on TikTok than any other platform just because the gift pops up on the stream has a cool animation cool sound or whatever and people just have so many coins for some reason whether it's from them streaming and then just they can't withdraw it so they just gift it to other people so yeah i really just love streaming on tiktok but don't be greedy guys don't be streaming just for the money think about building a community and if you really are there for the money it will come as you build a community but yeah but yeah this is the the end of the video um if you have any questions, please comment down below. I'll re be responding to all those comments and trying to help you guys. Um, please like this video so it can be more famous. And um, subscribe so I can get monetized. Because, like, what the freak? Why do we only have, like, 160 subscribers? That's still pretty good, though, to be honest. To be honest. But, yeah. Peace out.